Hi, I'm Mrs. Chandler, and I want to show you some tools that you are going to use on Seesaw. So let's look and see what is it going to look like when you get to Seesaw. So whether you are on a computer, an iPad, or a phone, you're going to see these buttons to push to log in. So I'm going to click the one that says I'm a student, the one with a little boy and a little girl. I'm going to click it. Now, if this is the first time you're signing in, you might see this screen, and it's a lot of blank spots. You might want your mom and dad to help you. But your teacher has given you either a, maybe a scan code or a text code. So I'm going to use a text code. And that'll let me get in to my Seesaw class page. Be sure to ask your parents or your teacher if you need more help on this. So once you're in, you need to find your name. Because this is where you're going to turn in your work and show your teacher all the things you know. So let's say that my name is Ruby. And I'm going to sign in as Ruby. So once I'm in, I'm going to see maybe some activities or some assignments that my teacher wants me to do. And I see one right away, right here. So I'm going to click this green button. It says add response because I need to answer the page that my teacher has assigned. So I click the add response button. Now once you're here, you see the pages you're supposed to do. Sometimes there will be special instructions up here at the top. See how I'm highlighting it? View instructions. And you can click on that for any instructions, or if your mom and dad's not sure how to help you, they can look right there too. So this is a good helper if you need it. So let me read it and let's see how this works. Hello, I'm excited to get to know you. Drag the letters to spell your name in the box. Now, we're gonna need some special tools to do that right there. So let's look at the bottom of our page. We have some images down here. We see one that has like a finger and it's pointing and it lets us drag and drop. So that's the tool we're gonna need. So we're gonna touch that one in just a second. But I also want you to kind of just look at those other tools. We're not gonna use them today, but let's look at them real quick. So there's also a pencil and a marker and highlighter and an eraser. Cause sometimes when you get in, it's automatically on this pen. And say I forget to switch to the finger to drag and drop and I accidentally write on my page. Uh-oh, and I don't want that there. I don't want my teacher to see that. So I could get the eraser. See the eraser, how it's highlighted? It's lit up right here at the bottom, and I'm gonna go over my mark, so then my teacher doesn't see that. So make sure you push the right button, and in this activity, you're gonna need that finger drag and drop button. So let's go ahead and drag and drop my name. Remember I said that my name's Ruby, so I'm gonna put Ruby, R, U, B, Y. Ruby, there's my name. So I've got that part done. Now let's look at the next part. Use the camera to take a selfie and put it in the box. I gotta put a picture in there. Now let's look at some other tools. If you look on this side here, we've got a T, a microphone, a camera. That's the tool we're gonna need. So we're gonna click that camera button. See how it's highlighted? I'll flash it for you. Okay, so I'm gonna click the camera, and then it has two buttons for me to push, with a photo and an upload. We're not gonna do an upload. An upload's where I grab something from somewhere else and put it into this, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna take a picture. So I'm gonna hit that camera button. And sometimes when you push the camera button, your device wants to know, are you allowed to use the camera? So I'm gonna hit, click allow. Yours may or may not do that, but if it does, just click allow and it lets you use the camera of the, of the computer or the device. So now I'm ready to take my picture and I'm gonna smile real big for my teacher. Ready, one, two, three, and I'm gonna push this button down here. One, two, three. Okay, I got my picture. Now I'm ready to put it in. But uh-oh, my picture is too big. So I've got to resize it to fit in that box. Now, if you're using an iPad or a um, phone, you would maybe use your fingers to squish it, squish your face and get it down into that box. But I'm on a computer, so I'm gonna get these dots on the side and I'm gonna squeeze it in that way. And then I'm gonna drag it into there. Oh, it's still not quite right. Okay, that's pretty good. You just wanna do the best you can to get it in there. You know, while we're on the subject, let's talk about taking good pictures. Sometimes when we take pictures, we're too far away, and that wouldn't be a good picture. Let me show you what I'm talking about. And I've seen, I've seen kids do this. They say, okay, let me take a picture, and they take a picture, and they're like, 
okay. And then they take the picture, that's too far away. Or they might get way too close up, that's too close. So use your camera, look at the image, and say, okay, I think right there will be perfect. And then you can take the picture. <gasps> So be sure you take good pictures. Now I already have a picture, so I'm gonna just go ahead and delete that. All right, so I have it all ready to go to give to my teacher. Now behind my face up here, you can't see it. There's a green circle that's a check mark, and you're gonna click it. And that says you're done and you're sending it to your teacher. You're uploading it to your teacher. And there it is, and she'll see it and say, wow, Ruby, you did awesome. So. I hope this helps, and if you have any more questions or you get stuck, be sure to let your teacher know so they can help you. All right, I hope you have a wonderful time and a fun time with Seesaw.